Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is an 81-year-old gentleman who went to his orthopedic surgeon complaining of left-sided hip pain and pelvic pain. The surgeon did an x-ray in the office, which is right here, showing the left femoral head. This is the left iliac crest, right iliac crest, right femoral head. This is the right pubic ring. This is the left pubic ring. Everything was read as normal, no obvious displaced fracture, no bone tumor. So the physician did an MRI of the pelvis just to see if there's any problem or MRI of the left hip and pelvis. And on this view, we see the left femoral head right here looking normal. So there was no femoral fracture. This is the greater trochanter. But there was abnormal signal right here. This is called the acetabulum. And then the pubic bone is right here. So the pubic ring along the top here had low signal, which is abnormal, and low signal here and low signal along the bottom of the pubic ring. So this whole area here has marrow edema. There's another view here that shows this a little bit better. Now in this view, marrow should be dark, nice normal femoral head, low signal, and we see the abnormality as bright. So this uh, pubic bone here is abnormal and it is hyper intense. There's a fracture line, that ill-defined vertical band is a little non-displaced fracture or stress fracture line. Here's another little stress fracture line. And this is the ischium down below. This is a one more view of uh, a big field of view. We can see the right side and left side for symmetry. And we see that this is abnormally bright on the left. You can see those stress fractures of the lateral pubic bone, the central pubic bone, the symphysis pubis, down here the ischium. And you can see on the right-hand side, the whole pubic ring is nice and low in signal, which is normal. So this is a fracture, or I'm sorry, non-displaced fracture, or stress fracture of the left pubic ring with lots of marrow edema. Also some injuries of the deep pelvic muscles here, the adductor muscles. The patient also had just incidentally a big prostate gland, probably benign prostatic hypertrophy, and some mild erosive changes of the SI joints right here. It's the sacrum right next to the SI joint. Also some similar findings here on the left side. So significant findings that are visible on the x-ray here. And thank you very much.